Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at something I saw on Harry Rogers' channel. This is the um, the cheap chai, cheap skiving knives, Chinese skiving knives. Um, after watching his review, I purchased one and can confirm it is excellent quality and amazing value for money. Um, he is correct in stating that the edge on these comes pre-sharpened to a very sharp edge so be careful with that so today we're going to make a nice leather sheath to cover the blade to protect the edge and our fingers so let's head across the workbench and we'll do that now okay so first stage is to make a template for the cutting out the leather so we take a piece of card now what we need to do, we line the knife up with the card. We're going to have to put what's called a welt around the outside of the blade. All a welt is is a thin strip of leather, which will prevent the sharp edges cutting the stitching as the knife is put in and taken out of the sheath. So we'll cut some thin strips of leather but down the sides and across the bottom, which will glue in and then stitch. So if we position our knife on the card and then we get a rough idea of what sort of size welt we want, probably just make as thin as that would do. So we draw around that and obviously there'll be a fold over there, which will give us a uh, template. I'm going to put a little tab on mine which with a little press stud which will just fold over the corner and hold the sheath on so I've already made a template which we look over here as you can see it's just a piece of card so when the blade is in I've left enough space for the welt to go around and then when that's top section is stitched in place. I've created a small flap here which will put a press stud in there, a snap fastener, which will fasten that down and prevent the knife from being pulled out of the sheath. So, next stage is to cut out the template, sorry, the leather. Um, now, I've been making some of these recently. These are just nice little leather pouches. And I've got a surplus of this nice soft upholstery leather which is perfectly adequate for this application you could use veg tan that's a bit more work it's got a nice color I just like it so I think it'll go well with the knife so I'm going to use some of this stuff so I've got lots of off cuts plenty to make a small item like this so all we're basically going to do is to take our template and to cut out from our piece of leather I'm going to do it in two halves rather than fold it I just think the stitching will make it a bit stronger. So I've already done that. And here are the pieces which we have. And I've created some little strips for the welts. So obviously this is the, the back. And the knife blade will sit in there. And these little off cuts, just little slivers of leather, will be glued in place, one here one here and one here so when it's all put together glued and stitched nicely that little flap will come over and button down on there so next stage is the gluing so we'll go across the gluing bench and we'll do that next okay so here we are ready to glue everything up so i'm just going to use some standard contact adhesive So we just take a little spreader, take some of the glue and just apply glue around the edges that are going to be receiving the welts.
Some people prefer to use a brush, but I prefer a little, little plastic spatula which I've ground the end to a slight angle of about 45 degrees and it gives you much more control over where you place the glue. So that's the front and back done. If we just put glue on each of the welts. Sticky. Right, and if we can Get off. Right, and we'll just do the same. It's not my day, is it? Let's take those off. Just do the same with the other small pieces. They're very fiddly. You need three hands for jobs like this. But once it's on, it's on. And the final piece, obviously we need to put glue on both sides of the welt, but as you've seen it's quite fiddly, so we'll do one side, give it a, a minute or so to, to go tacky, and then we'll turn them over. Okay, so we'll give those a few minutes. Okay, so the glue's gone off. I've done the other sides of the small strips because the glue was starting to go off in this heat. We're having an unusually hot summer in the UK, so not quite used to it. So put in the bottom piece and the side piece. Put that there. and keep things straight before the glue goes off. And the final piece which goes here. Like I say, quite fiddly but we're getting there. So finally just need to put the top piece on up the edges best we can. Slightly stretch it so it's nice and taut. Okay, so let's press those edges so they make good contact. And then let it dry before we stitch it. So that's the gluing done. Okay, so the little sleeve is now glued and the glue is basically set. Obviously it's difficult to line up these very small uh, welts, so this is a good time to trim the edges nice and square before we stitch it. So we'll just quickly do that. going to use the Skyver knife to demonstrate how sharp it is. Well, that's a nice clean cut as you can see. So we'll do the same on this side and careful not to cut off the little tongue obviously. In fact as a precaution I shall work away from it. So there we have nice square edges, all ready for the stitching process. So I'm going to bring across my little anvil. 
Oh, put that there so we can see it. I put my little polyboard top on it. And now, because it's upholstery leather, it's not really practical to groove it. Um, so we shall just do it by eye. Okay, so that's all of the, the holes prepared. Next stage is to sew it. So, unfortunately, my regular sewing pony is elsewhere at the moment, so I'm going to have to use my little bench vise. Deal, but it, it'll do for now. These are handy, these little swivel ball jointed devices. You can get things into some nice angles. So, we're going to use a, a dark brown thread which contrasts nicely with the, um, the leather, this particular tan. So, let's take out a couple of needles. We shall see how much thread we need. I do roughly five times. Five, but we're going to go around that twice. So one, two, three, four. Five, and then it'll be the bottom piece. Always better to have too much than too little. Nothing worse than running out of thread mid stitch. So let us have a look. We're going to be threading the needles. Yes, our little dog Molly, who's sitting on the floor beside me, is really suffering with the heat at the moment. It's we're having unusually high temperatures for the UK, as high as 30 degrees, which I know isn't very much for our American visitors. But in the UK, we're used to sort of 10 degrees, so this is unusual for us and quite uncomfortable. Right, so that's our threads, thread needled, needled, <laughs> threaded. So starting off. Actually, we're going to start at this side. I've got the thing the wrong way around. And obviously, there's three layers of uh, leather here, so it's quite thick. And of course, being upholstery leather, it's also quite um, soft. So we're not 
easy to I'm gonna have to resort to my pliers I'm afraid it's just a bit too tough So, I'm sure you're all familiar with cross stitches. I'll do one more and then I shall not bore you with the long process of stitching this up. And we'll come back to it once the stitching is done. So, I'm just going to continue around the outside of the little sleeve until it's complete. Okay, so that's the stitching done. As you can see, it looks quite nice. So the final task is just to put a little stud here to lock that in place. So we'll do that next. Just using our hole punches, puncher hole in the center of that little tab like so and then make sure snap fastness before we do that we need to mark the position of the pin post hole so fold that over using a leather marking pin dot there and then we punch that one too so let's do our assembly so we need the top and the bottom set So we'll do the top first, so bring that through. That sits in there nicely. Put our little snap part on. Do the same for the other section. Bring that through. Put something to support it from behind. Put the cap on and find the right size. That's it. doing a slight rocking motion there with a punch that just ensures an even distribution of the rivet on the back so there we have the completed little pouch so let's see if it fits I do hope so after all that effort so we put it in and we slide it down it will be a little bit stiff initially and then snaps that over So there we have a very nice skiving knife safety cover sleeve. So there's a weld in there, a welt, sorry, which protects the stitching when the knife is pushed in and pulled out. So otherwise that would cut along there and damage all the stitching. So that weld protects the stitching 
from the sharp edge of the blade. So I hope you found that useful and interesting. And there we have a nice simple little project for anybody who's purchased one of these wonderful and very sharp Chinese scabbing knives. So I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next time.